Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Game Week 26 team selection video. Uh, transfers made. I'm trying starting to make some a little bit maybe risky decisions getting later in the season. Trying to see if I had any differentials elsewhere. Um, made two transfers this week and captaincy switch up as well. Sitting some big players on the bench as well. Um, and so without further ado, let's get into it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and starting with the goalkeeper. Um, I have Di Gregorio net against Hellas Verona. Uh, Falcone could also get a clean sheet against Torino, but I got Gigi in. So I'm going to bet on the Torino, uh, clean sheet and hope Di Gregorio gets a clean sheet with Monza instead. Along the back line, we have Gigi, Biol, Ibanez, and Darmian. All of the teams, potential clean sheets there, but almost nothing. Maybe Inter, maybe Roma should be a high chance clean sheet. Um, Torino and Udinese, they definitely could get clean sheets in this game, but nothing is for sure there. Uh, moving the captaincy armband onto Dybala this week against the Swolo, hoping for a big game out of him. Um, and then the two new transfers in, two uh, Lazio attackers, given the midfield role, Felipe Anderson and Zakani. Felipe Anderson's made in my squad a couple times this year and always makes his way in when Immobile is out. Immobile seems out for the week. Um, not to ever wish ill health on someone, but hopefully with this transfer being brought in, um, uh, Immobile doesn't just miss one week. Hopefully he um, does game back to health soon, but I would like this transfer to last more than a week as well. Um, Felipe Anderson should take the striking role. Zakanya should get rotated less in this case. And they're both two players that are high up in the fantasy scores. Anyway, to do this, I got rid of Coop Miners, who sustained an injury. I also got rid of Leao. I didn't really want to, as he is facing Salernitana this week. Um, but he hasn't been playing good, and this was the only uh, logical way for me to get Felipe Anderson to the squad, who is the main player I wanted this week. Working down to the forwards, same forward lineup as before. We have Latour Martinez, Victor Shimhan, and actually I might... I might put in Kravashelia for Enzola. So that is actually a move that I'll lock in right there. Have Enzola in the first bench position. And they're switching to a 4-4-2 instead. But I like the way that this looks. This will be my starting squad going into game week 26. Around uh, game week, we have Enzo La being brought in a lot. Smalling, Augusto, Latoro Martinez, and Mancini. Um, we have Immobile, Marisic, Coop Miners, DiMarco, and Mary Rubio. A lot of those are in recently injured players, so it all makes sense for the most part. Um, as far as the top five for this week, I would say um, the two Napoli players that I've brought in always excel in the absence of Immobile, I'll even throw Milinkovic Savic in there. So anyone of Felipe Anderson who should have the high striker role, um, then Zakani and uh, Milinkovic Savic all could be good options this week as their role always escalates when Immobile is out. When Immobile is in there, he's like the best player in the game. Um, but uh, and then all the ball is going to go through him uh, at Lazio. Whereas when he's out, it spreads out a little more and gives some players that score as midfielders a better chance to get points. Um, Latoro Martinez, I would say, is a good player to bring in. Um, and I'm going to go back to Ciota being a good decision to bring in. Obviously, it's still contributing at that price point. Uh, it really adds for some flexibility in your squad. So Zakani, Milinkovic, Savage, Felipe Anderson, Latoro Martinez, and Ciora of Monza uh, are going to be my top five for this week. It's the first time in a while I haven't been saying Kravashelia in Oshimhan's name. Um, other than that, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Good luck this game week, and I will talk to you afterwards. Take care.